Stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight or the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming and the rockets red glare the bombs were singing Oh, 
Flag on the play. Illegal shift. <laughs> <laughs> Backs it up to the 31 yard line where it'll be first and 15 for the Falcons. Let's go, Betty! Pass ball is incomplete. Second and 15 for the Falcons. Falcons call timeout. Don't forget our class of 2020 concession stand on the other side of the press box from the football field. Selling chips and candy, granola bars, water, soda, and pizza by the slice. Support our class of 2020, our senior class, in their efforts to raise money for their senior prom. Coming out of the timeout, it is second and 15 for the Falcons from their own 31. Josh 
Ticket Foot, line judge, John Gallagher, side judge, Dale Hawk is the field judge, Sean Hoadley is the umpire, Josh Perry is the linesman, and up here with me in the booth is Ed Gore on the clock. The chains today are Thomas Araguru and Martin Sumners and Jeffrey Sumners. <laughs> 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 That's Luca in the kickoff for the Falcons. Number 13, Tristan Ray. Number eight, Mendel Joseph in the back of the Raiders. First and ten for the Raiders from their own two. Number 10, Abdallah Tra Trare. Sorry, number 12, West Chicago. Hand up, up the middle from Trare. He's taken down quickly. No gain on the play. Ball is tipped in the top of the 
Once again, before the uh, next kickoff, if you're feeling hungry, don't forget to go down for some fresh hot pizza slice by the slice, sold by the class of 2020, our senior class, selling at the concession stand on the other side of the press box from the football field. Chips, candy, granola bars, water, soda, and again, hot pizza by the slice. Number eight, Mendel Joseph, and number 23, Javon Thomas, back for the kick. That's the look at Thank you for sticking with us through some technical difficulties here today on the Play-by-Play -play Sports Network. It's a 13 to nothing lead for the Petty Falcons over Canada Prep Academy. Starts its second drive of the game with a quick pass to the right that's caught by Javon Thomas. Takes it across the 25-yard line and is eventually spilled up at the 28. Best positive play of the day to start a drive for Canada Prep as their last drive came to an abrupt end with an interception by Eric Ayamano. I'll bring up second down and short from the 28 yard line for the Raiders. Couple of touchdowns for Matt Sluka so far today. One through the air on a pass to Justin Shorter. And he took it in himself on a run on the second drive of the day for the Falcons. Giving in this 13 nothing lead. 6.56 left in the first off the bad snap. As Chaminga recovers, fires to the sideline out of bounds. That'll bring up third down and two from the 28-yard line. Good pass rush by Petty after that bad snap that Chaminga was able to get down, a senior from Ottawa, Ontario. Canada Prep just trying to sustain a drive pick up a first down they had one on their first drive now trying for lucky number two as Chimega works under center tries to rush it up the middle himself couple of Falcons in on the stop and it looks like it's going to be about a yard short I'll bring up fourth down and one from the 29 yard line Looked like Sean Morris the senior from Lansdowne Pennsylvania was in on the stop Fourth down in inches. Looks like the Raiders going to take a timeout and think this one over with 6.19 left to go in the first. A 13 to nothing lead for the Petty Falcons. Take a look at the first two games so far this season for Petty football. Both have been on the road. This their home opener in the 2019 season. Beat Wyoming Seminary 38-9 in the season opener and then blanked Archbishop Wood at William Tennant High School in the second game of the year. 47-0 final in favor of the Falcons as fifth-year head coach Chris Maleo. He's got this team off to a strong start once again this year and now playing host to Canada Prep Academy, a team that 
is a private school up in Canada, but they play their entire schedule against teams from the United States. They are a complete road team. They play teams from Ohio, New York State, obviously New Jersey coming here to Heightstown this afternoon. They go as far south as Baltimore and Chester, Virginia to play this year. They're a well-traveled team. They're trying to pick up a first down on fourth and inches from about the 29 and a half yard line. Jaminga under center once again. He rushed it last time. Tries to stick the ball out across the 30 this time. And it looks like they're going to give him the spot across the 30 yard line, which is the yard, the line to gain. That'll be enough for a first down. First down and 10 for the Raiders from just across the 30 yard line as very slowly starting to build a drive here their second time in possession of the ball. There's six minutes left to go in the first quarter. It's been all petty so far. Shimanga takes the snap, drops back, is flush from the pocket under a heavy pressure, rolls to the right, fires deep down the field and incomplete. Tristan Reddy, the intended receiver, I'll bring up second down and 10. Flush in the pocket by Captain Cam Baratow, senior from Wareham, Massachusetts. It's out on the Cape, and it'll be second down and 10 for the Canada Prep Raiders. 5.41 left on its stop clock in the first. Spread it out here with five wide receivers. Shimanga takes the snap. Looks to the right. Fires to the outside. Pass incomplete. Good coverage from Keyshawn Johnson. Brings up third down and 10. Johnson read that pass. A quick out to the outside. Once again intended for Tristan Reddy. Not sure if he got a piece of it, but even if he didn't, Johnson forced that pass to be too far away from the grasp, and now third and ten with 5.36 left to go in the first. Break the huddle, and they'll spread it out again with five wide receivers. Trips to the far side right of the field. Third down and ten from just outside the 30. Petty brings the pressure, and getting dragged down from behind by Joe Ramos is Chaminga. A big sack by Ramos, who came in untouched from the right edge. And it'll be fourth down and a mile for the Raiders, and they'll have to punt. Dropped all the way back down to the 24-yard line. A loss of six on the play. Bring up fourth down. And a punting situation. First time... Seen the special teams unit. It'll be Elijah Barnes, senior from London, Ontario, on to punt. Justin Shorter is deep to return for Petty. Long snapper, the player late to get on the field for Canada Prep. It's Elijah Russell, wide receiver by trade. And now they get another player on, as apparently they originally had only lined up with nine guys. This is a short sidewinding punt that checks up out of bounds. And we'll see where they mark it. Boy, it looks like only at the petty 30 yard line. Walk it up to the 34 yard line. So 422 left to go in the first. Petty takes over from the plus 34. So that was a 10-yard punt unleashed by Elijah Barnes. That will be great field position for the Falcons who have already scored touchdowns on their first two drives today. What about Max Sluka? Back out of the shotgun. He's got Terry Washington in the backfield with him. Lined up on his left hip. Four wide receivers in the set for the Falcons. Sluka 
Quick screen to the outside for Shorter. has got some blocking, makes a man miss, and gets chucked down to the ground at the 30-yard line, and a late flag comes in away from the play. We'll check the flag as Shorter went down. He was spilled by Elijah Barnes. But we'll see what the penalty is. Again, it was kind of away from the ball, more toward the middle of the field. And it's going to be a personal foul against the Falcons. Mark it all the way back, 15 yards from the end of the play because it was a dead ball foul. So it'll be second down. for Petty from the 44-yard line. Wow. Wow. Sluka looks to pass. Flush from the pocket. Keeping his eyes downfield. Now takes off running. Picks up a couple of yards before he's escorted out of bounds down at the 40. So a four-yard run for Sluka. That'll bring up third down and long for Petty. He needs to get all the way down to the 24-yard line to pick up a first down. So third and 16. Coming up for the Falcons with 3.56 left on a stopped clock in the first quarter. Sluka, one touchdown through the air, one on the ground so far today. Falcons will spread it out. We've got four wide receivers, and Aiden McHugh comes in at quarterback. McHugh takes the snap, he looks to the left, steps up, fires to the outside, pass complete to Justin Shorter. But he runs out of bounds about two, three yards shy of a first down. Down to the 27 yard line, a pickup of 13 yards. And it'll bring up fourth down and short for Petty. And from this point in the field, this is four down territory. McHugh stays on at quarterback as Terry Washington checks back in for this fourth down and short play. Full house package in, give to Washington in behind the blocks. Tons of room, first down inside the 15 as Washington needed three yards and he picked up about 12. Quickly back to the line of scrimmage, same formation. And to Washington, tons of blocking, cuts it back to the middle, fighting down towards the five yard line is gonna be spilled. Looks like about a half yard shy of that marker. So it'll be second down and a short one. Maybe not even that much. Second and inches from just outside the five. The Falcons knocking on the door of a touchdown. Only a couple of plays after facing a third and 16 from the 40 yard line. Again, McHugh with the big package. Off play action, rolls to the right, fires to Barreto, who's in for a touchdown. Cam Barreto makes the reception, a five yard touchdown grab, and Petty with the touchdown. There is a flag down in the end zone. We'll check what it is and see if this stands. And they're gonna call it an offensive pass interference against Petty, so that waves off the touchdown. And we'll do it again, it's second down after they mark the yardage off. Be a little bit longer than inches though, where the Falcons march it all the way back to the 20 yard line. So second down and 15 from the 20 for the Falcons. Driving deep in Canada prep uh, territory. 2.50 left to go in the first. That's Luca checks back in at quarterback for Petty after a couple of plays for Aiden McHugh. Spread out with four receivers. That's Washington to the slot to the left. He's the man in motion, takes the snap. They fake it on a handoff to him, keep it as Sluka up the middle across the 10-yard line, and he's spilled down at the 8. A couple of Canada prep players in on the stop, but Jordan Penny Legion was the first one in there. 
for the Raiders. Bring up third down and short. Pickup of 13 down to the seven. Bring up third down and two. Look out of the shotgun, four receivers, two to either side. Washington lined up on his right hip in the backfield. Sluka takes the snap. They hand it to Washington, trying to get to the outside, but it's sealed off. Able to slip a tackle, cut it back to the middle. He's across the five, pushing to the goal line, and Washington is in for a touchdown. Jatari Washington was stopped in the backfield, slipped off a tackle, was stopped again short of the first down, kept running through that, and pushed the pile across the goal line and into the end zone for the third touchdown of the day for the Petty Falcons. 7 yards to Pater as now Sluka on to attempt the extra point. Kick up and it is good. That makes it a 20 to nothing lead for the Petty Falcons here in the first quarter with two minutes and two seconds remaining in the opening quarter here today. It's been all Falcons touchdowns on each of their first three drives for Canada Prep. They picked up a couple of first downs, but the first drive ended in an interception, the second in a punt. And Petty just has not been able to be stopped scoring the football today. The only thing that's really stopped them was when they missed the extra point after the second touchdown so far today. They've been able to overcome some penalties that they've committed and take advantage of Canada prep mistakes. And now the Raiders lined up to return the ensuing kickoff after that third touchdown. Just trying to get something going at the end of this first quarter. There's still two minutes and two seconds left to go in the opening quarter today. That's Matt Sluka. It's ready to tee the ball up from the 40-yard line and blast it deep. He's done a great job on kickoffs today. Sluka's two kickoffs. One has gone for a touchback. One was caught by Canada Prep, and then the player stepped out of bounds at the two-yard line. So it's been a couple of really good ones. Mendel Joseph and Jordan Penny Legion are deep to return the kick for Canada Prep. Falcons set to go as Sluka runs the right leg through. It's a shorter kickoff this time. Grabs by Joseph just outside the 10-yard line. He takes it across the 20 to the 25, where he's eventually brought down around the 26-yard line. It'll be the best field position of the day for Canada Prep. Ball on their own 26-yard line with a minute 52 remaining in the first quarter. Raiders have had some issues moving the ball through the air so far today. And Shimango was sacked last time he dropped back to pass for a six-yard loss. Petty's pass rush has been doing a good job. The coverage in the secondary as well. Really can't complain too much about the Falcons' defense so far in the first ten minutes of this one. Let's see what the Raiders going to draw up here to try and change things up and just get something going on offense. Falcons rush three and they blow the play dead. It's going to be a false start. That'll back the Raiders up to the 21-yard line. First down and 15. Now for the Raiders as when things are just not going well, you can't afford to Nice, shoot yourself in the foot with some penalties like that. Kind of prep breaks the huddle. They've got first and 15 for their own 21 yard line, trailing 20 to nothing with a minute 50 left to go in the first quarter. Home opener for the Petty Falcons. Couldn't have gotten off to much of a better start. Schmangit looks to pass, just stands still, fires to the outside, pass complete. Good catch on the outside by Elijah Russell. And Russell picks up about three yards on the play. Yeah. 
Second down and 12 coming up from the 24 yard line for Canada Prep. Just announced that the last pizza is available here, so if anyone's paying attention down in the stands listening, go get something. Maybe bring some up top for us as well. I don't know. Bobbled snap. He recovers. Looks down the field. Tremenga just fires it away as he gets hit. Ball got back across the line of scrimmage. It was a receiver in the area, so no intentional grounding. Instead, it'll be third down and 12. Ball on the Canada prep. 24-yard line with 59 seconds left on a stopped clock in the first quarter. Petty a perfect three for three on its drives. Three touchdowns today. They've done a good job on stops defensively, an interception and a punt the first two times. Canada preps at it. Now they face third down and long for their own 24-yard line. Spurred out with four wide receivers, two to either side of the formation. Manga takes the snap. Under some pressure as Petty only rushes three. He's all the way back in his own end zone. What is he doing? Looking for somewhere to go down the field. Now turns it back up at the 10. Gets demolished as he fires down the field. Pass complete. Inbounds on the sideline. And a first down pickup for Javon Thomas. What a hit taken by Wes Chimanga as he threw that ball down the field and somehow was able to complete it to Javon Thomas for a first down. <laughs> 27 seconds left to go in the first quarter. It's a 20 nothing lead for Petty, but what a sensational play by the quarterback, Chimanga. And quite frankly, I was shocked that he ran 24 yards behind the line of scrimmage into his own end zone, but gosh, if he didn't make it work. Now they keep it on the ground on first down. Abdallah Treor takes it off the left side, still on his feet, and eventually gets dragged down by three Petty defenders. Joe Ramos was in on the stop, as was Eric Aimano. That'll do it for the first quarter. First down pickup for Canada Prep. Teams will switch sides for through one quarter. It's a 20 to nothing petty lead here on the play-by-play -play sports network. Back at Schumann Field for the start of the second quarter. It's a 20-0 lead for Petty, but a couple of positive plays in a row for Canada Prep have got them set up on a first down and 10 from the Petty 30-yard line. 
Starting to drive and really looking the best they've looked overall today on offense. Dalla Triar with 15 yard rush to set this one up. First down and 10 for the 30. He's in the backfield again, a high snap over the head of the quarterback, Tremanga picks it up, fumbles, and gives the ball right to the Falcons. And all alone in for a touchdown, Lennox Lamar. Oh my goodness. And right when it looks like the Raiders had something going positive, a fumble recovery for a touchdown, swings the pendulum right back over to Petty as they go up 26 to nothing. Matt Sluka in to kick. And over end, and it is good. Eleven forty-seven left in the second quarter, and Petty on top, twenty-seven to nothing, over Canada Prep Academy. It is a beautiful day here in Heightstown. Nice and breezy outside. A little bit. Warm though for a late September day overall. I was told that fall started earlier this week, but apparently that's not the case. Gotta imagine it is very hot down on those sidelines. Especially on the Canada prep side as they find themselves behind by four scores with 11.47 left in the second quarter. Just a comedy of errors on that last play. The high snap that was picked up and then immediately fumbled by Chimanga right into the awaiting arms of Lamar, the senior from Georgia. He took it all the way to the house without anyone, quite frankly, even coming close to bringing him down at any point. Matt Sluka, the quarterback, also does the kicking for Petty on to send this one away. He's had a good day in terms of his kickoffs and is now three of four on extra points. Takes the trot up, swings the right leg through the ball, sends it on its way down to about the five yard line where it's grabbed by Mendel Joseph. Takes it up the middle, now cuts to the left. Joseph across the 30-yard line, tripped up but stays on his feet, and eventually dragged down at the 40. Looks like the 41 is where they'll mark him down, and again, best field position of the game to start a drive for Canada Prep. 11.34 left to go in the second. They start on their own 41-yard line. So be time for West Shimanga to try and have a short memory at quarterback. Try and just get this one closer. Is again, it was on a one step forward and two steps back for the Raiders on that last drive. It's been all Falcons so far here today. Five wide receivers for the Raiders on first and 10 for the 41. Jamanga looks to pass. Under some pressure as Petty rushes three. Rolls to the left, has room to run, and cuts out of bounds after picking up about three yards to the 44-yard line. He's second down and seven from the minus 44 for Canada Prep. Coming down from St. Catharines, Ontario, right across the border by Niagara Falls. Very heavy Canadian influence on their roster, though a couple of players from the Bahamas, one from Poland, are mostly Quebec and Ontario represented well.
11.23 left to go in the second after the run out of bounds. Once again, Canada Prep will spread things out. And get a pass under a ton of pressure. Fires over the middle, low and incomplete. He's looking for Tristan Reddy on a crossing pattern. And there's a personal foul roughing the passer at the end of the play against Petty. And that'll help out Canada Prep, set him up with the first down. So Petty's been able to generate a ton of pressure, but hurt themselves sometimes with penalties today. So this will move the ball all the way into Falcons territory at the 41 yard line. First down and 10 for the Raiders there is getting set to run just their third play from plus territory today. With 11-14 left to go in the second, 27-0 lead for the Petty Falcons. Shayor, big number 10 in the backfield, just to the right of Chimango, and in motion. They hand it off, and it goes to Joseph. Joseph spins off one tackle at the line of scrimmage and then gets wrapped up and thrown down to the ground by Matt Sluka coming up for the defensive backfield to make the play. Loss of a couple as they say forward progress was stopped at the 43 yard line, a loss of two. That'll be second down and 12 from outside the 43 yard line. Line to gain is the Petty 31. It's the Falcons defense We've seen bend now a couple of times, but has resulted already in two takeaways, an interception and a fumble recovery for a touchdown. Looking to hold strong again. Spread out with five receivers. And this one's going to get blown dead on a false start as Anaya Harris-Rowe took about two steps and then realized, oh, too soon. So now second down and 17 from the 48 yard line, almost the 49 of the Petty Falcons as penalty push Canada prep into Petty territory and now CPA is nearly gotten themselves right back into their own side of the field. 10.05 left to go in the second. Manga takes the snap, quick pass to Treor on the left, cuts it back to the near side of the field, gets back across the original line of scrimmage, refusing to go down, and eventually ridden out of bounds a yard shy of a first down. Or rather, right at the first down marker, they'll give the spot, it looks like. The 31-yard line. I mean, that is about as close as you can get to a first down. I'm going to mark them inches short. Uh, frankly, I'm surprised they're not measuring this based on where the spot is and where the chains look they are on the far side. But it'll be third down and in inches for the Raiders. Up to the gain of 17. And the Wildcat, or rather under center, Chimanga takes it and sneaks it up the middle himself. He gets to the 30 and picks up a first down. There's a Canada Prep player down, so an injury timeout. First down pickup. It's 27 0 lead for Petty with 9.21 left to go in the second quarter with this injury timeout. We'll take a break here on the Play by Play Sports Network.
So a 34-0 lead for Petty after the interception turned into a 32-yard touchdown strike from at Sluka to Eric Amano. Interception, Joe Ramos returned all the way back to the 32-yard line and now Canada Prep with 6.55 left to go in the second. Get the ball back, trailing 34 to nothing. We'll just try to avoid what's been their fate on three out of their first four drives today. That's been a turnover. Two interceptions and a fumble, including one that was returned for a touchdown. Lennox Lamar back right at the beginning of this second quarter. Petty's still in the huddle on the sideline. Now we have a we have a timeout. Looks like taken as Canada Prep was all lined up and ready to try and return this. Petty is still just hanging out on the sidelines. So now Canada Prep going to go over and talk things over. During the timeout, we showed this earlier in the game today with the two wins for Petty to start the season. Both coming on the road, but a sneak peek ahead at some of their other games coming up after this one next week. Get on Hill, then back home against Lawrenceville and Capital Prep for two straight home games. Hunt at the end of the month on the road, and then Lair coming into town on November 2nd. Big matchup on Blair Day. All games here at home. Streamed here on the Play-by-Play -play Sports Network. So if you can't make it out here to Heightstown, we hope you join us online for the stream. Is at Sluka. As this one teed up and ready to go. And he unleashes another booming kick all the way into the back of the end zone for a touchback. Boy, Matt Sluka's done a good job on offense at quarterback. He's done a good job defensive back on defense. And you know what? Kicking, he's been great too. For Petty here today, second time one of his kickoffs has resulted in a touchback. Canada Prep will start at the 20-yard line with 6.51 left to go here in the second. Start winding the clock as Canada Prep heads out onto the field. Petty getting lined up on defense. So they've played nearly a, not necessarily flawless, but about as close as you can get to it, first half on defense. They've given up a couple of big plays. There's been some penalties in there. But overall, getting a good pass rush, just rushing three, and that's allowed the defensive backfield to be great in terms of just blanketing coverage. Teasing blitz, rush five, and they kept it on the ground and blown up in the backfield. Eugene in Monroe. Sean Morris got in the backfield for the tackle for a loss. Loss of four on the play back to the 16 yard line. 548 left to go in the second as Canada Prep going backwards on their first play. Bring up second down and 14. They need to get to the Petty 30-yard line for a first down. Now Shimanga takes the snap with an empty backfield. Looks to pass, fires over the middle on a crossing route, complete to Tristan Reddy. Reddy gets close to a first down before he's brought down to the ground at the 28-yard line. 12-yard pass and catch. Chimanga to Reddy. It's been a connection that Chimanga's tried to work a lot today. Hasn't quite been able to successfully do it consistently. We got third down and two. Canada prep, and we've got an injury timeout with a Raider player down, but slow to get up. Not the first time we've seen that today on the Raiders. And again, a kind of a hot and humid day. There was a little bit of a breeze, but we've got all that padding on down in the field. It is. It's got to be brutal for some of these guys. I hope it's obviously nothing serious at 5.13 left to go in the second quarter. 
In this injury timeout, once again, we'll take a step aside. This is Petty Football on the Play-by-Play -play Sports Network. Out of the injury timeout, Canada Prep faces a third down and two from the 28-yard line. They need to get to the 30 to convert on a first down. There's 5-10 left to go in the second quarter. 34-0 lead for Petty. It's a direct snap to the back, Tristan Reddy, who picks up a first down across the 35, and he's down to the 37-yard line. Not a bad play by Canada Prep. We've seen Reddy rush it a couple of times. This time he picks up nine and a fresh set of downs. 4.50 left to go in the second quarter. It's a 34-0 lead for Petty. Canada Prep trying to drive. And one thing that the Raiders have done sort of well, I mean, despite the ugly offensive numbers, three turnovers and a punt in their four drives, they've actually done a decent job at putting together time of possession. So they got that going for them, which is a good thing. But part of that is just Petty has scored so fast when they've had the ball. Jamanga floats this one out of bounds. Got it across the line of scrimmage. There was also a receiver in the area. So he was flush in the pocket. It'll be second down and 10 from the 37 yard line. Ashtamanga has been overwhelmed at times with the petty pass rush that has just been having its way with the Canada Prep offensive line. I mean, when coaches talk about winning a battle in the trenches, you look at the game film from this and you say for petty, that's how you win a battle in the trenches. I mean, they're rushing three, maybe four consistently. And it seems like every single play, Chmanga's just running for his life. Treor set up in the backfield on Chmanga's right hip. Takes the snap. Again, Petty rushes three. Chmanga under pressure. Fires to the outside, making a catch is Preston Martin. Ducks underneath one tackle, gets close to a first down. Looks like he'll be just about a yard short up to 
and counter to prep. <laughs> 46 yard line. Well, it looked like referee had it and put the spot down a yard ahead before eventually moving it back. Well, on the 46, third down and one. Hang under center. He fumbles the ball forward. It's fallen on. Looks like Petty's got it. We'll await the official signal, and it is, in fact, Falcons football. Uh, that was just a botched exchange center to quarterback. I can't imagine that that was a designed trick play for I Canada Prep. 2.28 left to go in the second. Petty takes back over. First down and 10 from the Raiders 46 yard line. Shotgun set once again for the Falcons. And a quarterback, Matt Sluka, takes the snap, looks to pass to the left side, fires low and incomplete. Aimano was the intended target. Exactly two minutes left to go in the first half, a 34-0 lead for Petty. Second down and 10 from the 46. Spread out with four wide receivers. Sluka out of the shotgun. Takes the snap. Looks to pass. Steps up in the pocket. Looks over the middle of the field. Nobody's open. Now rolls to the left as he's flushed. Keeps his eyes downfield as he takes off rushing. Takes it across the 40. Down to the 35-yard line. Eventually spilled out of bounds as he loses his helmet. Down at the 33-yard line. A pickup of 13 yards and a first down. They say he was down in bounds, so the clock continues to run. Minute 18 left to go in the second. 34 0 Petty looking to try and hang 40 in the first half on Canada Prep. Aiden McHugh now in at quarterback. Washington in the backfield with him. McHugh takes the snap, fires over the middle, and it is complete. Going up in double coverage and coming down was Ayamano down to the 10 yard line. First down for the Falcons, and goal to go with inside a minute to go in the second. Twenty-three yards on the pitch and catch, and a timeout taken by Petty with 47 seconds remaining in the second, and a 34-0 lead here for the Falcons trying to march and get into the end zone one more time before halftime. In case you joined us late today, Matt Sluka, three touchdowns so far in the first half for Petty, one on a pass to Justin Shorter, one he just tucked it away and ran it himself. Another 32-yard pass to Eric Aimano. And also Lennox Lamar with a fumble recovery for a touchdown for Petty as well as it's been four turnovers in five offensive possessions for Canada Prep. Two interceptions thrown, two fumbles. And Petty scored a touchdown on every single offensive drive they've had in the first half. It's just continued to make the Raiders pay for their mistakes. Break the huddle out of the timeout. Canada Prep gets the personnel off the field. Aiden McHugh set to be the quarterback. Snap is sent away. Looked like before we got the all-go to get ready. Reset it, four receivers, three to the tight side left. McHugh fires to Shorter, open in the end zone, but he overthrew him. One on a fade route to the back corner of the end zone. Incomplete, it'll be second and 10. And Matt Sluka comes back on for Petty. Terry Washington also with a touchdown for Petty today. Three or four? 94. 41 seconds left to go in the half. Two receivers to either side of the set. Washington in the backfield. Now motion for Petty. 
as they change up the play at the line of scrimmage. David Egby and Justin Shorter, the two slots switching sides. And they go short and incomplete. Intended for Lamar on the far side is, would have been short of the goal line, but the pass batted away. Nice coverage by the Raiders. Third down and goal from the 10 yard line. We have 34 seconds left to go in the second. Fake to Washington. Quarterback keeper, Sluka, gets close to the end zone, and they say he got in. Sixth play of the drive and a touchdown for Matt Sluka, his second on the ground. And it is now a 40 to nothing lead for Petty. What a first half with 24 seconds to go in the second. Sluka stays on for the extra point attempt. It's four of five on those. And you can make it five of six as this one is good. <laughs> 41 nothing. Petty on top of Canada Prep. With 24 seconds left to go in the first half. Sluka will get ready to kick this one off and when he does that'll start the running clock. 41 to nothing in the second quarter. Petty looking to complete what will be a 3-0 start on the season and open up their home schedule with a bang here today against Canada Prep. Really could not have asked for a better first half for Petty. Yes, a couple of penalties have helped out Canada Prep, but four turnovers, a touchdown on every offensive drive. I'm sure Chris Malaya will find a way to not be happy. I've never heard a coach actually say, you know, I was really satisfied with everything we did today. There will always be something. But he's going to have to reach pretty hard to figure out what that is. Sluka sends this one on its way. It checks up just around the 15-yard line, picked up by Joseph. Spins around, 17 seconds left. Makes a nice move, but cuts it back up. It only gets back to about the 17-yard line, so... Wendell Joseph, a return of just a couple of yards, and that'll do it for the first half as the clock runs down to triple zeros in the first half of football. Going into the locker rooms at halftime, it's a 41-0 lead for the Petty Falcons. And an incredible first half of football here at Schumann Field in Heightstown. We'll take a step aside. When we return, we'll get you set up for the second half here on the Play-By-Play -play Sports Network.
Back at Schumann Field, getting ready for the start of the third quarter. It's a 41-0 lead for the Petty Falcons. As both teams back out on the field, it'll be a running clock once we get things going with Petty up by 35. So we'll see with Canada Prep getting the ball first, if they're able to finally string together something positive offensively, something that quite frankly eluded them throughout the entire first half. Four turnovers on five possessions. One of those was a fumble return for a touchdown. And the only one that didn't result in a turnover was a punt after a first down pickup. The kick from Matt Sluka goes into the end zone for a touchback, and that'll get things going here in quarter number three today. Thank you so much for joining us on the Play-By-Play -play Sports Network. And with inside 11.30 left to go in the third. Eventually when Canada Prep breaks the huddle again, the clock running right now as it will, unless Canada Prep is able to get this one within 35 points. They break their huddle with five wide receivers, three to the tight side right of the field as West Chimanga out of the shotgun. Petty Rushes three under pressure. Chimanga gets it out. Caught by Mendel Joseph who pulls it up. Ball comes out loose. They didn't blow the play dead. And a fumble recovered by Petty. And on the very first play from scrimmage in the second half, it's another turnover for Canada Prep. Third time they've lost a fumble today. And it'll be first down and 10 for Petty from the 24-yard line. Boy, and that's about as bad as things could have started for the Raiders. A thin team as it is. And they fumble on the very first play. So Petty takes over. 10-13 left to go from the 24-yard line. Aiden McHugh out of the shotgun. He takes the snap, looks to pass, fires over the right side, and it is intercepted and dropped. Jordan Penny Legion cut across, had his hands on the ball, but couldn't hang on after he was hit by his own teammate. The ball was jarred loose, incomplete. It'll be second down and 10. Lock running inside, nine and a half minutes left to go in the third quarter. It's a 41-0 Petty lead. McHugh out of the shotgun. Hands off to Washington. Slips a tackle in the backfield. Cuts it back to the near side of the field. Has some blocking ahead of him. Across the 20 to the 15, down to the 10. And eventually brought down at the eight-yard line is Jeteri Washington. Picking up a first down and goal for Petty. Down to the eight-yard line. Pickup of 16 on the play. First and goal for Petty. Now inside nine minutes left to go in the third quarter. Petty has scored a touchdown every offensive drive it's had today. Looking to tack on another here as McHugh looks to pass to the right and tipped and incomplete. Tristan Reddy had his hands on it. Also in the area of the play was Abdallah Treyor. Ball falls to the grass incomplete. That'll be second down and goal from the... Just outside the eights yard line. 41 nil, Petty on top. Three touchdowns in the first half for that's Sluka. Pass to the far side, caught and into the end zone. For a touchdown is Eric Ayamano. An eight-yard strike on the fourth play of the drive, and Petty goes on top 47 to nothing. <laughs> Second touchdown for Ayamano through the air. First for McHugh, though. And Amat Sluka on for the extra point attempt. Five of six on extra points. Good rush in by Canada Prep, but Sluka is true. Extra point is good. 
and it is now 48 to nothing in favor of the Petty Falcons. Clock continuing to run with 7.15 left to go in the third quarter. Now a 48 nothing Petty lead as they continue to take it to Canada Prep. And for CPA, it, again, it, you look at this game and you just kind of scratch your heads at what can you do offensively because you, you haven't been able to do anything so far today. Anytime, even they've had a little bit going in their favor, there's been a turnover right on the other side of it. Five turnovers, two interceptions, three fumbles, all have been lost. One was returned for a touchdown. Two rushing touchdowns for Matt Sluke in the first half. Two passing touchdowns for him as well. And now at the second string, starting to come into the game for Petty in the second half with the running clock. A touchdown on the board in just four plays after the turnover on the very first plate from scrimmage in the third quarter. Matt Sluka tees it up, and by the time he sends this one on its way, we'll be at our midway point already in the third quarter. Sluka's been so good on these kickoffs today. He's had three touchbacks. He sends this one shorter. It'll be played down at the four-yard line by Mendel Joseph. Cuts it back to the middle of the field, across the 15. Looking for some space, and he is dropped down at the 13-yard line. Started to back up and was escorted to the ground by Ayamano. Boy, what a great aim by Eric Ayamano. Two receiving touchdowns, couple of big plays defensively. Also had an interception back in the first quarter on the first Canada prep drive as they'll take over first down and 10. Mark them down right around the 13 yard line, maybe the 14. First down and 10 for the Canada Prep Raiders. Once again, they'll spread things out with five wide receivers. As Shimanga has had no time at all. Again, Petty rushes three. Shimanga rolls out to the right on a design, fires back across the middle of the field, and it's nearly intercepted. He threw it behind Tristan Reddy, and Justin Shorter got his hand on the ball, but just wasn't able to corral it. Pass incomplete. It'll be second down and 10 from the 13-yard line. Clock continues to run with inside five minutes left to go in the third quarter. Bring the running back, Dalla Treor, into the game. They'll split him off to the left. A near side guy in the trips formation. Jamanga high snap, corrals it down. There's been some troubles with snaps today. Fire over the middle to Treor and the pass incomplete. He was leveled, sandwiched in between Ayamano and Jack Barnes. Ayamano the sophomore out of Medicine Hat, Alberta, Canada. Barnes the junior from Fateville, North Carolina. And it's third down and 10 from the 13-yard line with inside four minutes left to go in the third quarter. A 48-0 lead for the Petty School. You always want to come out in your home opener and make a statement. Falcons sure done that. Shimanga with five wide receivers, takes the high snap, under a ton of pressure, back in his own end zone, slips off a sack, and a would-be safety, now swallowed up again, escapes the pressure, gets back across the goal line, a big hit, and a flag is down, pass down the field, is caught, complete for a first down for Canada Prep, but this one's not going to stand, as Samuel Labombo was the one with the reception, but there was a penalty for an illegal block against... Canada Prep back at the two-yard line as Isaiah Potts was hit hard and his helmet flew off on a blindside block back at the two-yard line. We have a timeout taken by Canada Prep with 2.44 left to go in the third. So the clock will stop, or rather this is taken by Petty. The 
officials will get together and talk over the official call before we get it. The result of the play would be a first down for Canada Prep if they don't end up picking this up. Obviously, it wouldn't be that. All four officials in part of that huddle giving their accountings of that play. But honestly, Wes Jamanga has done now a couple of times today where he's run back into his own end zone and you almost feel like, what is he doing? And he's been able to escape and unleash with some throws down the field. Honestly, his two best throws of the day have been on plays where he ran 15 or more yards back into his own end zone then turned it back up and threw down the field. They call the illegal blindside block. That is the official call against the Raiders. And they'll go back to the one yard line. As the play occurred down at the two, you get half the distance to the goal. And it'll be third down and 22 for Canada Prep. Once again, they spread it out with five wide receivers and nowhere to go for Chimanga. And now we have a timeout taken by the Raiders with 2.37 left to go in the third. I knew that you can follow the Play-by-Play -play Sports Network on Twitter, Instagram, and of course, Facebook, Play-by-Play -play Sports Network. Do a lot of streaming on Facebook Live, does PBPSN, so you... Make sure you want to follow us all there. You figure out upcoming broadcasts and don't miss any of the action from throughout this 2019-2020 season. Of course, all petty home football games will be streamed live here on the Play-by-Play -play Sports Network. And we thank you for joining us here today on our YouTube live stream. It's been all petty, all game long. Touchdown on every offensive drive for the Falcons. Canada Prep has turned it over on four out of their five drives today. That was just in the first half, and then turned it over on the very first play from scrimmage in the third quarter. They're backed up in the shadow with their own goal post. They wind the clock with two and a half minutes left to go in the third. 48-0 Petty, third down and a mile. Jamanga tiptoes the back of the end zone, stays in bounds, takes off, fires an illegal pass from across the line of scrimmage at the three-yard line. The flag flies out. The pass was incomplete. Now with 2.16 left to go in the third, we'll get the penalty once again against Canada Prep. That'll back them up even further, closer to the goal line. That is unless Petty just opts to decline the penalty and then they can essentially force Canada Prep to have fourth down and 22 from their own one yard line. They call a personal foul against Petty for an illegal late hit out of bounds. I mean, it was an illegal forward pass. He was three yards across the line of scrimmage. The line was the one. That pass was thrown from the three and a half or four yard line. Mark off the 15-yard personal foul. Put the ball up to 16. And it'll be third down. And approximately seven for Canada Prep from their own 16-yard line. They need to get up to their own 23 for a first as there's now inside a minute left to go in the third. As 
as a pot's going to come off here late for Petty. Replaced by Chris Mayo. They have a top 10 player in the state of New Jersey, class of 2020. Manga fires over the middle. The tip ball is intercepted. Justin Shorter took it off the hands of Abdallah Treor, and it's another turnover for Canada Prep. And that is how the third quarter will come to an end as the final five seconds tick off the clock. It's a 48-0 petty lead. Two drives for Canada Prep in the third. A fumble and an interception. They've turned the ball over on six out of their seven drives today. And Petty will start with it first down and 10 when we begin the fourth quarter as the team switch sides on the play-by-play -play sports network. Back for the start of the fourth quarter at Schumann Field. It's a 48-0 lead for the Petty Falcons. And off the interception, they've got a first down and 10 from the 24-yard line. Ada McHugh in at quarterback. He's been in at QB for the entire second half, which has only been one drive for Petty. They've both started at the Canada Prep 24-yard line. Takes the snap, handoff to Jerry Washington. A lot of room to run up the middle. He picks up a first down, down to about the 10 yard line before his forward progress is stopped. we will mark him back down around the 11, so pick up a 13 for Washington. And there's a flag with some extracurricular activity at the end of the play, down inside the five. unsportsmanlike conduct penalties against both teams they offset will be a first down and 10 for Penny down at the 11 yard line for Canada Prep as the Falcons just continue to pick up just gaping chunks of yardage McHugh out of the shotgun two receivers to either side inside 11 minutes left to go here in the fourth quarter 10.40 left on the clock, which has been running for the entire second half. Really since there were about two minutes left in the first half. McHugh from the shotgun. Washington in the backfield with him. Snap hand off Washington between the guards. Takes it to the five-yard line before he's met. And brought down to the ground right there. So a pickup of six for Washington after his first down run. Second down and five for the Falcons as they can get a first down without getting into the end zone, but they essentially have to take it inside the one to do that. Scored a touchdown on every drive that they've had the ball today. Going to stay perfect on offense. McHugh from the shotgun. Looks to pass. Floats it up into the end zone and incomplete. Just looking to the corner on the fade route to Justin Shorter. Pass incomplete will bring up third down and five. Clock now inside, 10 minutes left to go in the game. McHugh with four wide receivers. Takes the snap. They give it to Washington. Up the middle. Washington is close. Looks like he's got enough for a first down, but not enough to get into the end zone. 
We'll see where this spot goes. It looks like it's just inside the one. And they'll say it's short and they're not even going to bother to measure this. Again, uh, there was a time earlier in the game where kind of prep looked like they had a first down, didn't bother to measure and said it was third and inches. Here, Petty looks like they've got enough. It's fourth and inches. They bring in a big package, keep it to Washington, and he's in as it doesn't matter anyway. Second touchdown of the game for Jatari Washington, and it's a 54 to nothing lead here for Petty with inside eight and a half minutes to go. Player a little bit slow to get up on the Canada prep side. Looks like it's Tristan Reddy. Getting set up for the extra point is Reddy. Head off. It was the player a little bit slow to get up for the Raiders. Luca back on for the extra point. <laughs> Snap hold down, kick is up, and it is good. And it's a 55 to nothing lead for the Petty Falcons with 7.20 left to go. Here with a running clock in the fourth quarter. Canada Prep going to get it back once again. Good sign for them as Tristan Reddy is coming right back onto the field. Took the requisite one play off after he was down for the injury timeout. On a beautiful day, a great showing for the Falcons. First home game of the season. We'll take a look at the upcoming schedule for Petty next week on the road at Hill, a team that the Falcons demolished at home last year. And back home against Lawrenceville Capital Prep before closing out the month of October on the road at Hun. teams just taking their time to get this one going again. Sluka. Has this one teed up and ready to go. Sluka has been great kicking. Obviously the starting quarterback has played well in the secondary. Sends another booming kick down the field. It's played back at the goal line. Taken to the 10 yard line. Cut back cross. The 11 before getting stacked up and going nowhere. Looked like Monroe on the return. Or rather, Javon Thomas on the return. One player for Canada Prep. Hailing from the United States out of Buffalo, New York, a senior. Canada Prep take over first and 10 from the 15 yard line with 5.15 left to go. Canada Prep has committed six turnovers today, three interceptions, three fumbles. They've turned the ball over on every possession in the second half and dating back to the first, five straight possessions have ended in a turnover. Inside, five minutes left to go. Shimanga out of the shotgun. Low snap, picks it up under a ton of pressure, floats it down the field, and it's intercepted again. This time, it's Lamar down the sideline. Lennox Lamar out of bounds inside the 10. Lamar 
fourth interception thrown today by Wes Chimanga. Lamar's second takeaway. He had a fumble return for a touchdown earlier in the game. And now that interception to set Petty up with first down and goal from the seven yard line with inside four minutes left to go. And a running clock. 3.50 right now and a 55 nothing lead for Petty. Kind of prep has 12 players on the field right now. Finally getting the personnel sorted out. As Petty comes out into McHugh working out of a pistol formation. Khalil Majid is the running back in the backfield with him. Snap, McHugh gives to Majid. Trying to get some room back in the middle. He gets tripped up down at the two. Pickup of five for Khalil Majid on his first touch today. And we're now inside three minutes remaining in the game. Being told that is not Khalil Majid in the number 21 today. Four wide receivers in the, in the set as McHugh allowing the, top, the clock to tick down inside two and a half minutes left to go. Keep it on the ground to number 21. Slips a tackle in the backfield, goes backwards and forward progress stopped back around the 10 yard line. We'll say it was officially the eight where he stopped moving forward. So loss of six after the gain of five. Net negative one for number 21 on this drive as we're now inside two minutes remaining. Petty taking all the time in the world, and they can certainly afford to do so with the running clock. Just tick time out in this one. Third down and goal from the eight-yard line. No need to rush at all if you're the Falcons. Just try and run this one out. Start the season 3-0. and oh. And a player without a mouthpiece being sent off. And that's going to... Force a timeout to be taken by Petty. A little bit of confusion. That was going on leading to the timeout. So Petty comes over into the huddle with a minute and 20 seconds remaining. Because Richie Pinomi is senior from Harbor City, North Carolina. Went to come off because of the lack of mouthpiece. Gets one from the trainer. Straps the helmet back on and joins the huddle. As for Petty, a touchdown on every offensive drive they've had today. For seven turnovers defensively. And now a minute and 20 seconds away, wrapping this one up. Being told that it's Andrew D. Pasqual in number 21 today. So he's been the one carrying the ball on this drive for the Falcons. And that normally the number of Khalil Majid, but he's not playing today. Okay. Audible at the line of scrimmage with a big package in. McHugh. Hands off to Deep Pasquale, and he gets hit hard in the backfield and dropped for a loss of a couple of yards. Good play by Abdallah Treor coming in off the edge. Read the play well, but now inside a minute to go as it's fourth down and goal from the 10 for Petty as they've gone backwards three yards on the three plays in this drive. And they did it by going forward five, back six, and now back another two. 40 seconds remaining. Petty breaks the huddle. With the running clock. McHugh 
McHugh under center, the big package in. And off to Deepa Squall, gets back to the line of scrimmage, maybe gained a yard, 20 seconds left to go. And that'll just about do it as Petty for the first time today doesn't get into the end zone, but it doesn't matter because the ball game is over and the Petty Falcons have defeated the Canada Prep Academy Raiders by a final of 55 to nothing. A shutout victory for the second straight game. Petty, after taking down Archbishop Wood in their last game, 47 to nothing, a 55 to nothing victory over CPA. They'll start Maple Play next weekend against Hill with an undefeated record on the line as Petty has started off 3-0, including winning their last two games by a score of 102 to nothing. So as the teams line up to handshake at the conclusion of this one, I'll wrap things up for us here on the Play-By-Play -play Sports Network. Want to thank cameraman Kevin today and of course everyone here at Petty for all their help and preparation and hospitality and even at one point pizza during today's game. My name is Joe Vasile. So long from Heights Down. A 55-0 win for the Petty Falcons. We'll talk to you next time on the Play-By-Play -play Sports Network.